For DJs, sampling is when you play or preview a part of a song on top of another song, which is already playing. Samples can be a certain part of a song, like a beat, a melody, or even a vocal of a song. Sampling can be fun, as you can really sample anything that you think is appropriate. Sampling can make your DJ set more interesting, as you can combine samples that the audience wouldn't normally hear together. This is also a way of personalising your own style with mixes. Let's go through an extreme example that may not sound great, but it demonstrates clearly how sampling can add another layer to your music. As you would with any mix, make sure the cue points and levels are set to where you want them to be, then make sure the BPMs are matching. For vocals, this is a bit harder for the CDJ to determine, hence why I recommend you really train your ear to be able to determine when tracks are beat matched. In this video, the sample has been beat matched, so we're ready to sample. A general rule of thumb is that you do not want vocals to clash with other vocals. So if you're sampling a vocal, make sure you drop the sample when there is not already a vocal playing on the main track. Your knowledge of phrasing can help you greatly with this. Feel free to be creative with it. I know that some DJs will have a specific CD or USB that only has samples that have been pre beat matched with a computer program, which makes it quite a bit easier to drop samples throughout your mixes. Note that this is quite an advanced DJing technique and requires skills and a lot of common sense. You don't want to sample so much that the crowd has no idea what is happening to the music. Your goal is for the audience to enjoy the music. If you think sampling will enhance the music and the dance floor, then go ahead with it. Otherwise, don't oversample. 